Ground Renovators owner Derek Legassi specializes in tree and plant health care across Maine. He uses a microinfusion process to kill brown tail moth caterpillars before they can pose a harm. The product gets injected into the trunk of the tree, taken up into its own transport system up into the leaves, and the caterpillars will come out as little tiny caterpillars out of the nest, and they'll chew on that first leaf tissue, and then they'll slowly diminish and die away as they come out to feed. Legassi says the invasive species is typically identified on Maine coasts, but has made its way inland from latching onto cars. Mount Hope Cemetery in Bangor is one of the areas that is being heavily hit by the brown tail moth invasion. Legassi says he doesn't expect the situation to get better anytime soon. I just see it spreading in other areas, really, um, from Camden it's all the way up here. There's a lot of hot spots in the state now. Um, they say they're diminishing in places, but I think they're picking up in others. As the pests continue to work its way inland, more communities are grappling with how to deal with the problem before it gets worse. Holden's town manager Benjamin Breadmore is working to do just that after brown tails took over a few trees in his Veterans Memorial Park. Well, that's a place where folks can come, use the gazebo. We do hold a Memorial Day and Veterans Day ceremony, which will be coming up soon for Memorial Day. And we just want to make sure that folks are in, enjoying our harmonious environment. Legassi says he is concerned over the effect brown tails are having on the environment. I am worried a little bit about that because those are our majestic trees, those large oaks we have here in Maine. And... Uh, We'll do the best we can to protect those, I guess. Um, keep an eye on the situation and just keep working at it. In Bangor, Matthew Jaronsik reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.